And that was the introduction to Paco de Lucia's Malagueña de Licona. Today we're going to learn it. First I'm going to play it very slowly, then I'll play it a little faster, counting, and finally I'll give you a detailed explanation about everything that I'm doing. First, very slowly. Alright, now let me do it a little faster while counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, four. Five, six, one, two, three, four, 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 five, six, one. Now unmeasured. Alright, now let me give you the detailed explanation about everything. First of all, it is important to understand that there are two constants here in the opening. First of all, we always have one harmony fixed and uh, the other fingers are playing the melody on the first string. The melody is always on the first string, without exception here. So, that remains the same. So, it's either one finger playing uh, playing the melody like in the first chord, 
or two fingers like in a in a second chord and third chord and uh, this chord it's only the pinky that is moving but everything else is fixed so that's an important thing to remember now the second constant is that um, in the right hand the pattern remains the same so it consists of a low bass then first string high bass first string and then this technique I call it a pinch where you have thumb playing third string and the index finger playing two strings at the same time kind of in a, in a light strum but you see the thumb and the index finger they kind of meet here so the thumb is closing closing on, on the on the index finger like that so this is how you pinch right and this the, the, the low bass is always played with uh, thumb and ring finger plays the um, first string now when you play the higher bass it's thumb and middle finger first string and then the, the pinch is always done with thumb and index all right so it's always p a p m p i p a p m p i and then uh sometimes we have pull-offs um at the end of each harmony there's a pull-off so let me give you the first chord so the first chord is an e major but usually we would uh, be playing it with these fingers but because we need to play uh, this melody note which is the F we're fingering it with third finger on the second fret of the fourth string and second finger on the first fret of the third string and then the index finger is going to play either the F here or just open string right the open string uh, pull off to the open string like this so look first I will give you the frets that you play uh, in the left hand in the melody so zero zero one when the pinch happens now one zero one pull off to zero and repeat zero zero one one zero one pull off now in the right hand these are the strings that you are plucking six one four one pinch six one four one pinch pull off um, notice that the pinch is always happening between um, third and first string so like this right so this harmony repeats twice one two now let's go to the next chord so here you have bar on the first fret and um, the second finger is on the third string second fret so we are going to keep this as constant and our melody is going to be here with the third finger and the pinky the third finger will play the third third fret of the first string and the pinky will play the fifth fret which is a stretch um, and a pretty challenging one unless you use a capo so first let me give you the the frets for the left hand one three five five three five pull off to three one three five five one three one so the ending as you see is a little bit different now in the right hand same pattern as before thumb ring thumb middle thumb index right and these are the strings six one four one three with one pinch six one 
four, one, pinch, pull off, and six, one, four, one, pinch, six, one, four, one, pinch, pull off. Now repeat the first two harmonies completely the same. Now look, let's move this whole harmony up two frets. And now everything is just going to be transposed here. So um, it's going to be the same exact pattern as on this chord, but over here on the third fret. So I'll call out the, the frets. Three, five, seven, seven, five, seven, five. Three, five, seven, seven, three, five, pull off. All right, so now in the right hand, six, one, four, one, pinch, six, one, four, one, pinch, pull off, six, one, four, one, pinch, six, one, four one pinch all right now we're ready for the next harmony now that i can relax my hand because holding all this is tricky so on the third fret you have a bar covering five strings well if you want you can cover six strings but you will never use the sixth string on this harmony so you have a uh, third fret bar and then middle finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string uh, ring finger just below it on the second string fifth fret also and the pinky is going to be playing between the fifth fret and the sixth fret um, depending on the melody so first i'll call out the frets in the left hand so three five six six five six five three five six six three five three and in the right hand this uh, these are the strings that you are playing five one four one pinch 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 all right now notice that the pinky has to has to go from the fifth fret to the mm, to the to the uh, from the sixth fret to the fifth fret in a kind of uh, gliss right here gliss to the uh, fifth string it sounds better at faster tempo at slow tempo there isn't enough energy to kind of have it audible and then pull off from fifth fret to the third fret right now next harmony starts out like before but is incomplete it's just like the second harmony but instead of doing the pinch, we are doing just arpeggiation with the thumb from the third string to, 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 the, to the first. And uh, I usually wait about three beats here, but it's just a fermata, so uh, just pause for as long as you want. Now uh, the, f the second harmony repeats. <laughs> And then we uh, have this. This is where the rhythm stops. Uh, it becomes unmeasured. We have this um, six and first strings together with thumb and ring finger with apayando, rest stroke. And then you have this chord. 
So second finger, second fret, fifth string, third finger, third fret, fourth string, index finger, first fret, third string. Try saying that quickly. So this this chord. And in the right hand, this is what you have. First, I'll tell you the strings. So six, one, two, three, five, four, three, two, one. And now the fingers. P, P, A, M, I, P, P, I, M, A. And all this is, is uh, three stroke after the first two notes and now the scale starts here this is all piccato so you go um, this is a minor scale uh, starts out on third fret of the second string and then I'll call out the frets uh, first string zero one three one zero second string three one zero third string two zero fourth string three two zero and fifth string three two zero and in the right hand i start that run with index finger so index middle 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 index notice that if you do it correctly alternating then you will you will end on the same finger with which you started so in my case it's the index finger and i end also on index finger now look let this uh, note ring and then play second fret of the third string with uh, with second finger and in the right hand it's i apayando and then M tirando on the open second string. So you have this. And then all left hand. One, three, one, zero. So you have two hammer-ons and two pull-offs. So. And then uh, you play the third string one more time with index finger in the right hand and um, apayando and now this chord here so you are adding the first finger to the second string first fret and then you play tirando a m i which is one two three now place your third finger on the third fret of the sixth string and play this uh, together with the third string open so thumb middle finger right and then uh, here we have this this melisma so it's two zero so zero two zero with the middle finger now the pinky plays the fourth fourth fret of the fourth string and in the right hand it's index finger tirando and then you play the third open string one more time with middle finger tirando so apayando tirando apayando so p m i m now go to the first fret with the first finger of the, of the sixth string first fret of the sixth sixth string and in the right hand you play this thumb and then immediately you strum up from the fourth string it's like you're pulling with index finger across all these strings and then hammer on second fret and uh, third fret either with fourth finger or with uh, third finger i like i like the fourth finger there and then play sixth string and first together with pa and then this is your E major chord. So first fret of the third string, index finger, and uh, second fret of the fourth string, middle finger. And in the right hand, you have this, all tirando. I am A, P, I am A, P. 
and strings are three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four. So let me play it for you one more time, very slowly. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I need a break now after playing the bar so many times. <laughs> and now um, we'll take a rest. So I will see you next time. Thank you, friends.